So you guys know what happened to Roseanne Barr's show that was a hit. It got canceled after she made a blatantly racist remark towards Valerie Jarrett, who was a former aide of the Obama administration. Now, I, you know, I've been using Twitter quite a bit uh, recently, and I'm starting to get pissed off. I don't know, but I've been getting pissed off at a lot of stuff, but... You know, when you see stupidity, but other people not seeing it, it sort of pisses me off. But, so here's what happens. You guys know Samantha B is. And me coming out to defend Samantha B. Now, she does some good work, don't get me wrong. She does some good work here and there. But overall, she's more of a neoliberal than she is a Bernie Sanders type. And she also came together with Glenn Beck, which is really dumb, etc., etc. Especially now that he's for Trump. <laughs> Just hilarious. But we're going to be looking at here basically is Samantha B called Ivanka Trump a feckless cunt. And due to outrage that came out, most of the outrage either being two dumb positions. One of them saying, you know, I saw, I saw a popular tweet from a Trump supporter who was asking for civility. Which is, wow, that's fucking insane, right? The idea of a Trump supporter calling for civility when one of the distinct, unique characteristics of Donald Trump's campaign that is hailed by Trump supporters is his lack of civility and his un-PC craziness, whether he's uh, calling women fat pigs or whether he's fucking saying that, you know, women are bleeding from wherever or whatever the fuck he's saying, all the different types of shit that he's saying, you know, that, that's all, you know, let's keep it civil, guys. You know, he's making fun of a disabled reporter, says that John McCain is not a hero. He's a hero because he was captured. Insane levels of fucking uncivilized shit, okay? Again, the dude made fun of a disabled reporter. It doesn't get worse than that when it comes to civility, okay, that you claim to like. So, if you're out here telling me that, whoa, what happened to civility, and you're a Trump supporter... You're a clear partisan hack and a fucking fraud and you can go fuck yourself. So that's one of the dumbass positions. The other one of the dumbass position is somehow this false equivalency between what Roseanne Barr said about Valerie Jarrett, which was a clearly racially charged remark, which is a racist remark, and what she said of calling her a cunt, which is the equivalent of calling, you know, someone a dick. Like, it doesn't have any, any other undertones other than you're a piece of shit. You can substitute in for cunt, piece of shit, asshole, you know, douche, anything like that, right? Jackass, whatever. You can't, you can't fill in Planet of the Apes with anything else because it's not synonymous with anything else. And so there's this false equivalency going on with what Roseanne Barr said and what Samantha B said. And it's just partisan hacks just jumping forward. And believe me, I'm not being a partisan hack here and I'll tell you why. If Roseanne Barr said that Valerie Jarrett was a cunt, I would. It's not. It's not sexist. It's not racist, and I would have been okay with it. Honestly, I swear to you, I would have been okay with it, and I will hold that position. If they call someone a cunt, fine, whatever. Okay, I don't really care. That's whatever the fuck. That's not anything that's serious. You know, I talk shit all the time. Everybody talks shit all the time. But when you start making racist remarks, that's when I'm gonna come out and condemn you. And I'm going to, you know, just be condemning what you say. And so, Samantha B decided to come out and apologize. And the apology is stupid. And this is a part of a bigger part of the culture that's going on where liberals like to bitch out and pussy out and be like these little bitches in the corner backing away. No, motherfucker. Stand your ground because we have the high ground here. What you said is not equivalent to what Roseanne Barr said. You're completely right. And in fact, I want to give you guys context to why she said it too. It's not just some random, out of the blue, random ass shit. So here's what it says. This article says, Ivanka Trump, a senior White House advisor and the president's elder daughter, sparked online outrage Sunday when she tweeted a photo of herself with her younger son around the same time as reports circulated that the US government had lost track of nearly 1,500 migrant children last year during a segment Wednesday night criticizing the administration's immigration policies um, practices, sorry, B said, you know, Ivanka, that's a beautiful photo of you and your child. Let me just say one mother to another, do something about your dad's immigration policies, you feckless cunt. He listens to you. So again, this is 100% within context. Well, Roseanne Barr had nothing to do with policy positions, no, nothing. She didn't say, Valerie Jarrett did blank. 
and that's condemnable, and you're a cunt. No, that's not what she said. She made a blatantly racist comment. This is calling someone a piece of shit, an asshole, a douche, but saying cunt, which is not any way racially or sexually charged. No, that's not what it is, okay? And it's tethered to a specific policy position and an action. Not necessarily a policy position, but a practice, which it ties into other policy positions as well, whether it comes to ICE and, you know, their policies that they run on, but... Think about it this way, okay? This is what I want you to think about. Think about it like this. These people who are coming out against Samantha Bee, they're more appalled by her calling Ivanka Trump a feckless cunt than they are about her or about the Trump administration losing 1,500 migrant children. They lost 1,500 migrant children and they're more angry at Samantha Bee's comment calling him calling her a feckless cunt than they are about that. How the fuck, how stupid is that? How dumb is that? That is the, literally the dumbest thing I've ever seen on the entire planet, okay? It makes no sense, it's absurd, and just massive snowflakes. And again, there's no whatsoever, there's no comparison whatsoever to what has been done by Roseanne, or what Roseanne Barr has done and what, and what Samantha Bee has done. And here's the truth. Ivanka, attacking Ivanka is not the same as attacking Baron Trump. I want to make that point clear as well. I know that people are going to comment that because they haven't made it this far in the video and I'm going to fucking blow my head off because people don't fucking listen. But no, they're not the same. Baron Trump has nothing to do with the administration. Ivanka Trump, on the other hand, she's had multiple roles in there and also it was just, you know, exposed that she has like child labor going on in China and that may be leading to some of the tariffs that are going on now. And also, she's she's influenced the president herself. And she's taken roles. And her husband is also taken roles. And so, she's she was the one who, like, influenced Trump to do the first Syria bombing. And she was also somebody... I read a report that in a, a talk about, I believe it was healthcare with Republican congressmen. She came in there, too. And the congressmen were like fuck why the fuck is she here like they were like pissed off they were angry so it's not the same because she has influence she has actions that are exemplified within the government and so she her actions are in part cause of the cause of what's going on and therefore anybody who has any influence or any authority deserves to be criticized uh, as to what's going on because anybody who has any influence or authority whatsoever which she definitely has deserves to be criticized whenever it's possible they should be criticized whenever it's possible. And so, this is stupid, Samantha B. Why did you apologize? Why did you do it? We needed to stand our ground and call out the hypocrisies and bullshits of the right. This is getting out of hand and fucking ridiculous, okay? Calling somebody a cunt because they are they didn't do anything about 1,500 migrant children being lost, but they're now doing causing this trade war, and they have child labor going on in China... Fuck you. That's so stupid. Come on. Ivanka Trump is a feckless cunt. Why did you back away?